a solar still is going to give us purified water based on evaporation. We're gonna put that nice clear piece of plastic over a hole in the ground with some vegetation in it. And it's basically going to draw that moisture onto that clear surface of the plastic. Digging any deeper is getting rough. So what I'm gonna do is reinforce the walls on this to the exact size I can get away with. And then I'm gonna add material to the sides of it to create the depth that I need. I understand Grady's pushback on the solar still. The problem is that couple sips in the canteen is not solving the problem. So with a little bit of effort, even if it only puts out minimal amounts of water, it's still more than we had. See how moist and frayed those ends are? That's the moisture we need right there down in our pit. The last trick is B to P in it. I'm gonna urinate in here to add extra moisture to the solar still. And that evaporation process will take that 5% of urine that's creatine and a few other things down into the earth and the 95% of my urine that is water will evaporate, hit the plastic and drip down into the catchment. I've been holding it knowing this was coming. It's not a big catchment, but it's something to gather water in this clean. We'll just have to check it, make sure that it doesn't overflow. The trick now is to get all these edges sealed up so that evaporation all takes place within the still. Anything out here is worth the shot because if we don't get something to drink, we're not gonna make it, period.